What's going on guys, Thresh here, 221B Tactical. Today I'm here to tell you about the Equinox K2 Dynathermal. I'm gonna tell you about why I designed the shirt and actually what led to the, the need for the shirt for me personally and ended up being a need for so many other people. So I'm gonna get right into it. 13 years as a police officer, one of the things I hated during that time was wearing a big bulky coat. So I decided that I was not gonna wear a coat because I felt that not only were they bulky, but they're also dangerous. People could grab onto them. They would block things on my duty belt. So I just didn't like them and I didn't wanna wear one. So I decided that I was gonna layer beneath my uniform shirt. Now I worked at a department where we wore our body armor under our uniform shirt. So I would put on a few layers of thermal shirts, put on my body armor vest, put my uniform shirt over that. That worked for a little bit, but I ended up getting overheated because I had multiple layers on, nothing was breathable. And although it was keeping me somewhat warm, uh, when I over would overheat, I would perspire, I would sweat, and that moisture would make me cold. So I realized that that was a problem. It was also a little stiff having two or three layers of thermals on under my uniform shirt. And I came to find out that this was a problem for not just police officers, because I knew a ton of guys who hated wearing their big jackets on patrol, but a lot of people who just worked outdoors uh, in general during the cold weather months, they didn't like the big jackets. A lot of people who were in industrial type jobs, they couldn't have a jacket or a coat that might get caught up in machinery or anything like that. And they also didn't like layering because the layering, they tried layering, but the, the layering as well would cause discomfort. So I realized I had to develop something that would keep me as warm as a coat and give me all the benefits of wearing a coat, but be thin enough to wear under my uniform shirt. I looked around, nothing existed, so I decided to develop something. And I developed what's now known as the Equinox Stage 3 uh, Ultra Thermal. Now this shirt has a uh, wind blocking layer on the outside on the sleeves and on the shoulders, on the chest and the upper back area. Uh, and the mid layer is water resistant and the inner layer is this beautiful grid thermal here that helps maintain your body heat naturally, but is breathable so it doesn't make you overheat. I'm gonna give you a little close up of the grid thermal. I see you can give it right there. Okay, so, so I designed that. Now on the center part of this shirt, you'll see is a thinner thermal material, but it's not the same material that you see on the sleeves, the shoulders and the chest and upper chest and back. And this material is nice and thin. It's a stretch material. And I designed it like that because police officers wear body armor on the center of their body. And so this area tends to overheat first. So with the Max Drive Vest incorporated with this product, you have a thermal shirt that you wear under your uniform, keeps you just as warm as if wearing a coat, especially where you need it most on your shoulders, your sleeves, upper chest and upper back. This was a unbelievable hit. What, what happened soon after that was we had people who worked in different fields that were not police officers, that were not wearing body armor, saying, hey, can you make something like this that actually has the thermal material on the center core part of the shirt all the way through the entire shirt, um, the entire thermal, because I work outside in construction. I work outside doing some other, you know, other job. And then we had people who were outdoor enthusiasts, whether they're hunting, or doing some other activity outside in the wilderness and the outdoors, they too were emailing us and messaging us on social media saying, hey, can you make something like this for the rest of us who aren't cops wearing body armor? So that's what led to the design of the Equinox K2 Dynathermal. So this, just like the stage three, has that beautiful wind blocking material, which is stretch. It has a multi-layer, multi-directional stretch, which is beautiful. We have that on the shoulders, arms, chest, entire front and back. So the thinner area that was reserved for those who wear body armor was eliminated. And we put that beautiful thermal material throughout the entire thermal, front, back, everything, 360 degrees. This was an instant hit for those people who didn't wear body armor, people who were out in the elements, whether you were skiing or hunting or fishing or whatever it might be. I came to find out that that was the same concerns I had as a police officer were experienced and were concerns for folks in the areas outside of police work, let's say, for the civilian world. And it was a big concern. They didn't want to wear big bulky jackets that were getting in the way of stuff. Uh, they didn't want their movement restricted in any kind of way. They wanted that freedom of movement. But they also found that layering, although a lot of people who do outdoor activities and outdoor sports, when they layer, what happens down the road if they're active, they start overheating. 
and then you got to start peeling layers off because those multiple layers are not breathable. So with this, you have that beautiful thermal protection, but you have that heat regulation and that breathability, and you have some fluid resistant protection with that mid layer, and you have that incredible waffle pattern inner layer, which is help maintains your body heat. So it's the best of all worlds all in one. When I set out to find something like this, it didn't exist. So I actually had to go develop this material. And when I first made the shirt, uh, it was damn near like you know, half inch thick because of all the layers of all the materials that I needed for all my concerns. I said, I want it to be warm. I want it to block the wind. I want it to be water resistant. Um, I want it to have, uh, have some breathability. I want it to have those channels on the inside and the original design came back, it was way too thick and you couldn't move. And I said, well, this defeats the whole purpose. Might as well wear the multi layers again. So at that time, there was a process called heat press that was coming out where we were able to take all the materials that I wanted for this thermal and compress them down in this process that was actually pretty new at the time. So now that's what the final Equinox Stage 3 and uh, now the Equinox K2 thermal shirts have, which is this compressed material that is the best of all three. So you have that beautiful wind blocking with that stretch so it doesn't restrict movement. We have some gussets under, we've added these gussets now uh, with this third iteration of the Equinox K2, these gussets under the armpit area, which allow for flexibility and movement. So you're not restricted in any way. The material itself has a nice stretch to it and it just fits and feels beautiful. But the best thing is it eliminates having to wear big coats to stay warm and it also eliminates the need to wear multiple layers so recently i was in a hunt in patagonia in argentina and it was summertime here in the states but which meant winter time down there and going out every day with my guide and the only thing i had on in the early morning hours when it was freezing uh, was the equinox k2 and i had a very very light camo shell if you would real super thin just because it had the camo pattern that i was wearing and that was it, that was it, that's all I had on and I was good. So we were walking miles and miles every day as we were tracking and uh, sometimes we'd stop and we'd be still whether if we were in a blind or we we're glassing for a while uh, and I never got cold. So that was what was happening when I was wearing big coats or I was wearing multiple layers. You're walking, you're moving and you overheat and then you gotta shed your coat or then you gotta start peeling layers off and sticking them in your backpack and I never had a need to do that with this K2 Dynathermal. So for those of you who are not in law enforcement, uh, this is the, let me say, solution to your concern of not wearing a big bulky jacket or coat and not layering. If you don't like either of those things, this is something that was designed just for you based on my let me say, need and concerns and being annoyed with having to wear jackets and my troubles with layering on the job as a police officer. So you, they say, you know, necessity is the mother of invention and that's how this was invented. This is, how, this is how I came to it. And, you know, most of you know my background in biochemistry so and physics. I've always had this mind for not accepting what didn't exist. So when I was told that the, a shirt, a thermal shirt like that didn't exist, I just refused to believe it. And I said, there's something that can be done about this. There's something that has to be done about this. And that's what led to the development of this. So I hope that explanation is helps bring some clarity to you. The beautiful thing about this is that we give you 90 days to try it. So if you buy one, try it for 90 days. If you don't absolutely love it, I insist you send it back for a 100% refund. And if you live in the US, I'll even cover the return shipping. That's our promise and that's how confident we are that you're gonna absolutely love this piece of gear. And it really is. Uh, people say, oh, it's a, you know, it's a thermal, like people call it a shirt, people call it all different things, but it's a piece of gear. And when you're out doing whatever it is you do or you love or you have to do, maybe you're outside for you know enjoyment or maybe you're out in the elements because that's your job and you have to work because you're trying to pay the bills. You deserve to be warm and you deserve to be comfortable. You want to be comfortable and uh, no one wants to be out there freezing, but you also want your safety in mind, right? So you want comfort and you want safety and the Equinox K2 Dynathermal and the Equinox Stage 3 for police officers and first responders, that's what it brings. It brings comfort, but it also brings safety. You know, little things that I added to it was the mock neck that comes up here, which blocks the wind from going down uh, your neck. For police officers uh, who get those bumps from their collar of their shirt, it helps protect against that. Got the extended sleeve cuffs here, so they slip nicely into your gloves or mittens or whatever it is you're wearing on your hands. And you don't have that wind shooting up there. You know, it has a nice seal here. And, you know, little 
little things like that, the length of this, although you guys can't see, the length of this I made a little bit extra long. So if you're looking to tuck it in, which a lot of people when they're out in the elements, so they don't have their uh, base layer shirt untucked, they have it tucked in. So I made it a little bit extra long, so it's not gonna come untucked. So these are all things that I got from listening to you guys, listening to guys who are out there hunting, fishing, doing all the, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, overlanding, all this stuff that I got the feedback from you guys. And these are all the design elements I put in. A lot of them were on the Equinox Stage 3 and we carried them over to the K2 Dynathermal. And it's been, it's been great. The feedback and the response has been great. So uh, if you have any questions about this thermal, the Stage 3 or any of our gear or apparel, make sure you give our sales team a call at sales at 221btactical.com. Uh, they're there. They're there 24 seven. So just you know, shoot them a message and uh, via email, you could also give them a call. We also have our phone number right on the website. You can give a call if you wanna be old school and pick up the phone and call. We actually answer the phone during business hours, which is old school in and of itself. And yeah, we're, you know, we're here. We're here uh, around the clock to take care of you. And the other last part of this is a portion of all of our sales at 221B Tactical goes toward organizations that help veterans and their families and veterans who are wounded and are dealing with a host of conditions. And that's something we're proud of. That's something we've been doing for quite some time now. We've been doing it silently in the background, but we realize that it's something we wanna start sharing overtly now because it's such an important thing that we do. And we, have a, we take a lot of pride in knowing that we can give back to the families of first responders, widows of first responders, families of uh, soldiers and uh, also veterans uh, who are coming back and dealing with all kinds of uh, physical and psychological ailments. So we're proud that a portion of every sale goes toward uh, those organizations to help those members and their families. So that's just one thing that we we're so happy that we can do. We're so blessed that we can do. And it means a lot to us that we can do that. And if we could do that through taking care of concerns for all of our first responders and civilians who are responsible out there doing their thing, that's, e that's even better. So thank you all for your support. Once again, email us any questions, drop a comment here if you like, if you have any questions about it. And uh, that's really it. Be safe out there. See you next time.